An entire Christian's life of service and works for Jesus will be judged at the judgment seat of Christ. If he does well, he may get some rewards, which could be crowns, which I'll discuss later. This is not a judgment seat for whether the Christian will go to heaven or not. All Christians go to heaven. In fact, this judgment will be in heaven. It is also not the judgment of the nations, which is described in Matthew chapter 25, nor it is the great white throne judgment, which is described at Revelation 22. Here is a verse describing that judgment seat at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, which says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Now, I hate to admit it, but some Christians do not live a good life. In fact, at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20, God tells us that some Christians live a dishonorable life. Now, I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10 through 15. Paul will describe this judgment seat of Christ. In the first three verses, he basically tells us that the foundation of any Christian is faith in Jesus. And then you build upon that with your works. And he describes the good works as gold, silver, precious stones, and the bad works as wood, hay, stubble. Now, in the very last verse, he describes a, a bad Christian. His works are burned up, but he still is saved. All right, I'm going to start at verse 10. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. So all Christians are saved. They make it through the judgment seat. They're in heaven. You might get a reward, could be a crown, one crown is described at James chapter 1, verse 12. It seems that if uh, you're a Christian and you resist temptation, you'll get a crown of life. So that's the bottom line. Christians' work and service will be judged at the judgment seat of Christ. Now lastly, let me talk to the non-Christians out there, the folks that are trying to work their way to heaven, getting water baptized, keeping the commandments, and all sorts of things. Please give that up. Trust in Jesus and Him alone for your eternal life. Then you go to work. Go to work for the rewards and see how you will do at the judgment seat of Christ. But don't depend on works to try to get into heaven because it will not work.